So welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about the recent change um, about Fakum Ram, um, the changes I should say, but there is only one really interesting. So as everyone wished or thought, uh, the throw, the downfall 1 plus 2 got changed to a normal throw break window. This used to have a 14 to 15 frame break window, I think, uh, like the usual Bros did in Tekken history before, but now it has a 20 frame break window like the normal throws in Tekken nowadays. Uh, even though I think, let me say, yeah, you can see he ups his right arm, but you can still break the throw. You can break it actually super late now in comparison. Yeah, like. He can lift his whole right arm and you can back it. You can clearly see that you have a lot more time than you used to have. Um, yeah, I, I didn't like the throw to be honest. Um, but I didn't like it for one reason. They changed the complete throw game in Tekken 7. So uh, universal throws are very easy to break uh, with one or two. And the break window is not 15 frames anymore, it's 20 now. So and if they do this for every character, even for King, I think the only exception is Julia with Mad Access where you have to break in 15 frames, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, if they do this for every character, there should be, shouldn't be an exception. Uh, a character like this with great movement and fundamentally strong tools uh, with a throw that can completely uh, delete your life bar and newer players are not used to breaking throws like this. So I'm, I'm kind of happy that they changed this because I think Fakuram is strong as he is now, strong enough as he is now. Uh, they said they changed some instances where his rage drive damage was higher than intended. But as you can see, after the throw you still get your um, 90 plus. So he still has a throw that deletes like 65% of your life bar. But I'm just, um, I'm just, yeah, I think this change is good, it's a good change, and I'm happy. I read the patch notes and all of them seem to be very good, Katarina got buffed, Gigas got buffed, Eliza got small buffs, even though I thought she would get her 443 fall back to jail, but it didn't, and Kazuya's health sweep got uh, reverted, but I don't know why they didn't change the electric. But yeah, this is for the throw video. I will make a video on Gigas and I'm gonna regularly upload again. And I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.